It's the online election battlefront where nothing is off limits. As Russia's presidential campaign hots up, political activists are moving away from traditional tactics and embracing the Internet. Whether promoting ideas or spreading fears, web campaigning is playing a bigger part than ever before. RT's Katarina Grachova has the story. Grace youths and ties and slogans called out from the podium are the traditional election season fair, but they're no longer considered politically in vogue. Today's campaigning has gone online in a hot new trend in Russia. With pro Kremlin bloggers making fun of the opposition, portraying them in prayer outside the U.S. Embassy on Sundays, claiming they are connected to the U.S. State Department. And the opposition, filming funny cartoons about politicians made out of Lego. Getting information out there is becoming easier all the time. But the Internet is a very different medium to television. While on TV, it's enough to just... Look into the camera like this to attract viewers' attention. Not so on the net. To make your political video reach millions of clicks online, it's not enough to just have a message. It also has to be provocative, brazen, and sometimes project a whole different image. It's no surprise then that Putin, as a character from Harry Potter, became an overnight hit. Apart from catchy images, memorable catchphrases are used against those in the corridors of power. Opposition blogger Alexei Navalny was the first to upload his sharp-witted tongue online. A year ago, he labeled the ruling United Russia a party of thieves and scoundrels. The insulting phrase at first appeared on the net, but quickly migrated to almost every imaginable media in Russia and beyond. A year after, the party won in the parliamentary elections and reworked the catchphrase. Vote for the party of thieves and scoundrels. For 10 years of economic growth, the party of thieves and scoundrels united Russia. The mastermind behind that video and State Duma deputy Robert Schlegel proved his party can also fight its wars online. My aim is to provoke, to paint reality darker than it is. Often I don't agree with such statements in my videos, but they do work. Russia without Putin? Right. Why not? Give away your country, your beautiful girlfriend, to some foreign guy. What will happen to the Caucasus? Nothing. Let's just give it away too. Technically, the video is made very professionally. You can see that a highly paid specialist did it. It appeals to primitive responses, but works 100%. Your first thought is that there is indeed no future without Putin. But videos from the opposition are just as blatant. Another hot trend of this election season, eavesdropping on politicians and posting recordings online. Those taking part in a massive opposition rally in December were surprised to find out that one of their inspirations, Boris Nemtsov, described them on a phone as... It's naive to expect politeness from any side when we are living in election year. There are no holds barred in this war, not even interfering in someone's private life. A lack of privacy for today's politicians is already a modern-day reality. And with 50 million Russians going online today, about 40 percent of the adult population, the future is predicted to be filled with online political avatars, pushing the boundaries of a virtual world without borders. Ekaterina Grachova, RT, Moscow.